Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I have been testing out so many different heatless styling curl methods lately and you guys keep asking me what I'm doing to style my hair in recent videos. So I thought it might be helpful if I pulled together footage of all of the different heatless styling curl methods that I have tried, including the robe tie, socks, leggings, the heatless curling rod, the heatless curling headband and the octo curl so that we can talk through how to use each one, the pros and cons of each and compare the final results. I also feel like I have finally mastered the heatless styling curl technique for my hair type. So before we jump into each individual, I don't really know what to call these things. I feel like I can't refer to these as heatless styling tools because I have socks sitting here. We'll say heatless styling methods. Before we dive into each of those, I do want to show you guys how my old technique compares to my new technique so that you can see the difference between the two and why I prefer the new one. And last thing before we jump into it, I promise I am super excited because a portion of this video is in partnership with OctoCurl. You guys know that I've been using and loving the OctoCurl for a long time now, and I've recommended it in so many previous videos without being sponsored, which is why I felt like I could include the sponsorship in this video since you already know how I feel and you've known for a while that I love this product. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done that because I never want anyone to think that the way that I talk about products or the order that I rank products in a video like this where I'm comparing a lot of different things is swayed because of a sponsorship. Even though you guys know I keep it very real, I still like to be mindful about not only the sponsorships that I accept, but where I place those sponsorships or the videos that I put them in, if that makes sense. So since you guys already know my thoughts on this product, I thought that it would be a genuine fit and I'm super excited to work with them in this video today. So let's dive on into it. So let's talk technique. I think to show you the technique, I am just going to use this curling rod right here. It'll probably make it the easiest to see against my blonde hair. So the old technique that I used to do was to just take my hair and wrap it around whatever I was using to curl it in the same direction the entire time. So I'd start off with a piece in the front, wrap it around, bring it back this way, and then continue to pick up more pieces as I went, but keeping them all curling in the same direction, if that makes sense. So wrap, wrap around, and then when there was no more additional hair to pick up, I would just continue twisting again in the same direction until I reached the bottom, and then I would secure my hair with a hosiery elastic or maybe a scrunchie if it came with a scrunchie just appended. So like this. With the new technique, I still do the same kind of thing where I'm wrapping it around and picking up more hair as I go. But the key difference is that I'm actually pulling my hair in different directions, depending on where I picked up my hair from. And actually to clarify, I don't do this with the Octo Curl. I still use this approach. The Octo Curl is different because there are so many individual pieces that you get really different results than you do with something like this that only has like two rods or strips on either side of the head for you to curl around. So for anything like this, leggings, robe tie, I like to do this new technique. So I'll start by picking up a piece of hair from the front and wrapping it around like I did with the original method. But now I am going to pick up a piece of hair from behind and wrap it in the opposite direction. So bring it to the front and then wrap it around until we are back to the starting position. So you're kind of doing like a crisscross down the strip or the rod instead of just wrapping everything in the same direction. So again, I still will pick up more hair. So I'm gonna pick up another section here from the front, wrap it around, bring it back to the front. Then I will pick more up from the back, wrap it in the opposite direction. So around till we get to the back. And then for the rest of this, once I don't have any more hair to pick up, I will continue to wrap the pieces in opposite directions all the way down. Okay, so for results, what I do like about these the original method that I used to do is that it gives me more of a true curl than a wave. It's a very loose curl, but still it has more of that like curl shape. However, my results were always super uneven. So I would have defined curls towards the front of my face and then towards the back. I feel like those pieces of hair would be almost straight. They just wouldn't have nearly as much definition as the pieces towards the front. With the new method, I think that I get closer to a wave than a curl, but I feel like the 
waves are more defined and not nearly as loose with this method right here. And they're a lot more even. So I don't have that same issue where pieces in the back are basically straight. It's like a nice even spread throughout. Should I like take this off now? Alrighty. I think that is everything I wanted to talk through as far as technique. I just wanted to be able to explain that so you could really kind of see the difference between the two. You can use either technique with all of these tools, even the Octo Curl. You could do the crisscross one, but I just don't feel like I need to, which we'll get into later when we talk about that. So let's now talk about each of these different methods or tools or whatever. Let's start off with this headband that I got off of Amazon. It did come with a couple scrunchies to secure your ends. Here it is. So this feels really nice and soft. It's like a satiny silk material. I like that about it, but it does have this wire inside it to kind of give it structure. I get what they were trying to do in theory, but I do feel like it was a fail, which I'll explain in a second. The actual way that you use this is the exact same way as most of these other options. So same thing as with the curling rod, rope tie, leggings even, where you just have one strip on either side of the head and then wrap the hair on that side around each strip. The biggest difference with this one is just the way that you can wrap it around your head when you're done. Because of the wire that's in it, you can actually bend this up to wrap around your head so that you don't have pieces hanging down while you sleep. Even though the wire isn't like sharp and pokey, I do feel like it makes it a little bit just like weird and uncomfortable at the back of the head where you have that extra material where it's all wrapped up. I feel like the wire just makes it even bulkier. So I didn't love that. Definitely not my favorite to sleep in. And on top of that, I really didn't love the results that I got with this. The results were very uneven, which was mostly because I used the original heatless curl technique when I first tried this out. But the reason why I didn't even want to try it again with a new technique is because my hair had all of these sharp kinks and bends in it from the wire in this. Even though I have a lot of hair, my individual hair strands are still very fine. So my hair does crease really easily with certain accessories. Like for example, a hair clip that will just crease up my hair. Same kind of idea with this. Any sort of wire or metal or clampy plastic, anything, does not mix very well with fine hair. So if you have really coarse hair that doesn't kink or crease easily, I don't think you would have an issue with this and you may really like it because of the fact that you can tie it up. You don't have the pieces hanging down, but if you have super fine hair, especially really fine thin hair, I would not go for this one. Overall, my least favorite results for sure. Next we have socks. I wanted to find socks that had a really soft material that would be nice and comfortable and gentle on my hair. So I went with these, which I found at Target. Not my favorite for this technique, which we'll talk about in a second, but I will quickly show you guys how you can use socks to create heatless curls. So you're going to place the sock on your head and you'll wanna make sure that the opening of the sock is down towards the ends of your hair. Then to make this easier, I just take a jaw clip to secure it up here while I am actually curling and then I remove that after. So same thing here, you can either do the crisscross technique or just the original wraparound technique. That is not different. The only thing that is a little bit different and funky is the way that you secure this to your hair. Once you get to the end like this, you can put your hand into the opening of the sock. And then I like to grab onto my ends with my hand so that I know that they're secured down there in place and they don't get pushed up and moved around. Then you're basically going to pull the end of the sock or the opening of the sock up until it is covering your hair. Kind of confusing to explain, but you'll see what I mean. So you just pull it up like so. And then you can take the clip off. You can sleep with it like that. If you are worried about this falling down, you could also do like a little bobby pin up there if you wanted to. But for me, my hair always stayed like this even though it was not comfortable. Once I had all six of those socks in my hair, it was just very bulky and uncomfortable to sleep with. So even though the material itself was soft, these are not super thin socks. So again, it just was like bulky and I felt like I could never get myself comfortable. So that could be partially solved by using a thinner sock that's just 
yeah, a lot skinnier than this one. And also you could use the crisscross method to use less socks so that you have more hair tied around each sock and you don't need to use so many, six total like I did. But even when I tried it like that, I still felt like it was uncomfortable to sleep in. So this is just not one that I like to do anymore because my other options are comfier for me. The results that I get with sock curls are pretty nice. I think for the most part, I just get pretty loose curls. The only issue that I sometimes have is the end of my hair can kind of go a little bit funky if they happen to get wrapped up in the sock not perfectly aligned, if that makes sense. I feel like it's just a little bit trickier to control the placement of that. So you can end up with some, you know, ends that are going rogue. So definitely a fun one to try out, but not my favorite. I feel like my hair is gonna be looking insane by the end of this. Next, we have leggings. For this technique, you will want to place it on your head so that the opening of the waist is on the back of your head and not on the front because that'll cover your face. And something about using leggings that's pretty cool is that once you are done, you can actually use the waist as kind of a protective cover for the hair on the top of your head. So you can pull it down over your head and sleep with it like that if you want to. I just don't personally love sleeping with it like that because I sleep very warm. So if I have something covering my head like that, your girl's gonna wake up very sweaty. And then when you don't wrap the waist around your head, it's just like flopping in the back and it's strange to sleep with. I do actually like the results that I get with leggings. I think that it's pretty. For some reason this day, the right side of my head did not wanna curl as much as the left side. I'm guessing I just did not get it as wet as the other side when I was spraying it before. That's something I forgot to mention that I do prefer to use all of these with damp hair. That gives me the best results and the most defined waves or curls. So anyway, something that I think is nice about leggings is that when you're wrapping your hair around this, it's closer to the shape of a curling barrel than something like a robe tie, which is just flatter. So I think that can give you more of a defined curl than this can. And same thing goes for the curling rod like this. That's obviously closer to a true curling barrel, but this is just more stiff. Whereas this is like a nice soft bendy fabric. So I think that when it comes to the actual strips hanging down, leggings are comfier for me than something like this. It's just the top that's the issue. That just made me think, I feel like I could just like cut the top off and use it that way. That could work too. So overall, I think that this is something that is fun. It's handy for travel. It's just not my absolute favorite. Now let's move on to the curling rod. The one that I have here is also a really nice soft kind of satiny material. So gentle on the hair and did come with scrunchies as well. What I really like about wearing this is that it just doesn't feel bulky like the sock option that I showed you, but because it is stiffer and this is just a little bit thicker, then again, a robe tie or like leggings. It's not my favorite to sleep in either. I am a stomach and side sleeper, so I feel like it interferes with where I place my head a lot of the time. But I do really love the results that I get with this when I use the new technique. I just get these really pretty smaller defined curls that are not too tightly curled. Like these are still loose enough, but the individual curls I feel like are smaller versus like big loose barrels. Oh, I think it's so pretty. So if this was comfier to sleep in, I feel like this would definitely be tied for first with me with the Octo Curl, but because of that, it's not. Second to last, we have the robe tie curl. So this robe tie is from a Target robe. I feel like I've talked about this in a bunch of videos recently. I, of course, will list this and all of these different options below. It's nice and soft. It's not bulky at all. So it's definitely one of the most comfortable for me to sleep in. And something that's really nice about the robe tie is if you want to, you actually can pull the pieces up and kind of tie this like a headband around your head if you do not like the feeling of having your hair wrapped around the ties on either side of you while you sleep. Why is this telling me that this file hasn't been modified since December of 1999? Um, I can assure you I was not filming this video when I was five years old. With the robe tie, I definitely end up with more of a wave than a curl and I love the results. I think that there's just something really beachy and effortless about this. It's super pretty and similar to the last curling rod, I would say that the individual waves are defined and definitely kind of more tightly 
lightly waved versus like a really, really loose wave. They have nice structure. I think it's so pretty. So I've really been loving robe tie curls. I have been wearing them a lot in recent videos. That is definitely one of the styles that you guys have been asking me about the most, but the other style is the Octo Curl. I saved the best for last because this truly is my top recommendation for overnight heatless curls that give you the most defined curl. And this, of course, is the portion of the video that is in partnership with Octo Curl. There are a lot of different variations of Octo Curl, which is great. So they have three different lengths, short, standard, and long, and three different materials. The first material is microfiber. This is the most absorbent, and the texture of the fabric helps with grip so that the wrap stays in place better. They don't recommend this one for anyone that has hair that tangles easily or hair that feels really dry, damaged, or textured. Otherwise, mostly even conditioners work really well with this. The next fabric is cotton poplin, which does have some absorbent qualities, but it's not as absorbent as microfiber. The benefit to the cotton poplin over microfiber though, is that you're getting some absorbency with a little bit of a smoother, gentler fabric. And finally, the last material, which is the one that I have here is satin. This is the smoothest, most gentle option. The only thing to note is that it can be a little bit slippery if you have really fine hair. I have fine hair though, I have no issue with this. If that is a concern for you, you could use some texturizing products to create grip, but again, I have no problem, I love this one. There are three different placement methods with the Octo Curl, depending on what you want. The first is called the flower crown, so you kind of just place it in the center of the crown of your head. The second is the section off crown, so that the headband is actually underneath the top layer of the hair. This can be a nice way to add some extra volume if you need it. And then last is just standard placement like this with the elastic at the front of the hairline. Octo Curl has actually upgraded the Octo Curl since I last talked about it. So now what's awesome about this is that you can unsnap it here so that the elastic can be removed from across your head and it can be comfier for you. But you'll wanna make sure to do that after you've wrapped your hair. Otherwise it will be impossible to wrap. All right, the Octo Curl is a little bit different than most of the other options that I showed you because it does have elastics attached to the end. So I want to just quickly show you guys how to secure the ends with the elastics in a way that doesn't damage your hair and also protects the ends of your hair so that they still look nice and they don't look disheveled. So like I was saying earlier, I don't use the crisscross method with this because I just don't need to. I will just wrap pieces of hair around two sections of the Octo Curl at one time like this, all going in the same direction. Then when I don't have any hair left to twist around, I will lay what's left, the ends of my hair, on the end of one of the Octo Curl strips and take the end of the other strip and just lay it on top to kind of make like a sandwich of my hair. So it's Octo Curl, my hair in between, Octo Curl again. Then I just fold the ends up like so. Then I can take the elastic that is attached to the Octo Curl and just wrap it around a few times. I don't have to worry about that being too harsh on my hair because it's not touching my hair at all. It's just wrapped around the actual Octo Curl fabric. And it's as straightforward as that. It's very easy. I'll just do that for the rest of my hair, each time using two of the Octo Curl strips at once. If you wanted to create really, really tight curls, you could just use one at a time and then obviously twist less hair around. I think that's what's really nice about the Octo Curl is that it's super versatile, but what I like to do is use two at once and then these are my results. So compared to all the other options that I showed you, I definitely get an actual curl with the Octo Curl versus a wave. So this is my go-to whenever I want my hair to look curled, whenever I want it to have nice definition. Like this is an actual bouncy, springy curl. Look at that. I love it so much. And I also feel like I get so much volume whenever I use the Octo Curl. So I love this so, so much. I definitely would recommend checking it out if you've never tried it before. It really is great and it never lets me down. All right, you guys, we are going to wrap up this video here. I really hope that you enjoyed it and found it helpful. I'd love to know in the comments below, are you going to try out any of these techniques after watching this video? 
Or are there other things that you have used to create a heatless wave or curl that you think I should try out? As always, everything is going to be listed in linked in order of mention in my description box below if you do decide to test anything out after watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, click on that notification bell and send my channel to a friend. Thank you so much for doing those things. Your support means the world. Thank you for watching. I love you guys so much. Make sure to stay tuned for my next video because that will be up in a few days, but until then, I hope you have a great few days.